we'll see how the cheese does in my stomach. Handsome Italian man. I was on Bumble for two seconds. One, two. That was the craziest surprise. <laughs> little cute little airbnb i have this whole crazy travel story of how we got here but we're ready to go out on the town to go to where peter parker was on the bridge but let's go get some lunch we can walk and talk let's go so i was traveling from vancouver to italy and it should have taken me like 10 hours to get there but it took me 48 hours because i was going from vancouver to london to germany and then to italy so my connecting flight from london to germany was delayed so i couldn't make my flight from germany to Italy. You know what? Fine. I'll take the L. So they put me in a hotel overnight for free, which I was like, thank God for that. But I had to find my own food. So at the airport, I was like, hey, let me just try some German McDonald's. So I pick up my little burger and then I get on the train to my hotel and I'm like, shit, I forgot my McDonald's on the table. And then I remembered, oh, I can probably just expense my food to the airline. So I was like, okay, you know what? I took the L, but I'm going to gain something. I'm going to order the most expensive takeout item I can find and then expense it with the airline i'm like okay cool i get to my hotel i order like a hundred dollars worth of like sushi and caviar i'm like oh this is about to be the yummiest food ever and i wait and i wait and it never arrived at this point it's like 2 a.m i'm starving no food places are open around me so then i literally go down to the lobby of the hotel i find a cup noodle and honestly i probably was supposed to pay for it but there was no price tag beside it so i just took it and i ate that in my hotel room and then since i didn't have any of my luggage because it was stuck on the plane i went down to the hotel and i was like oh hey do you guys have like extra toothbrushes and toothpaste and they're like oh sorry we don't carry those I'm like what do you mean you don't carry those you're a hotel anyway so i had my crusty teeth teeth overnight. I had no extra set of clothes. My friend Ricky, who took off later than me, arrived earlier than I did. So anyway, after 48 hours of travel and two days of teeth plaque later, I made it to Italy! Scrubbed my teeth real clean and was ready to eat a gigantic, authentic Italian meal. We're on Rialto Bridge, which is where they shot that scene of Far From Home. Far from home. And they were like fighting on the bridge with the green man, Jack Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> <laughs> I only have four hours of sleep in me. All right, let's go get some. Go get some. <laughs> okay, let's go get some. There's so many people here. I thought that there weren't gonna be that many tourists here because it's kind of off season, but I guess Venice doesn't really die down. Actually, my friend Natalie was like, Venice is like the Disneyland of Europe. And now I kind of get it because it's like never really empty. Then we walked from here, Rialto Bridge, where Peter Parker was, to over here. A restaurant that I don't know the name of. Let's see. It's called... It's called... Well, okay. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers! Wait! It does look like a reverse egg. Wait, yeah, well. So much balsamic. Whoa. I don't think it's smoked at all. I think it's just raw beef. So we have discovered what carpaccio is. Oh, it doesn't taste bad. This is rare. It's so rare. Rocky. Rocky. And we'll see how the the cheese does in my stomach. But I have a feeling that European dairy is like fine. Do you think so? Yeah. When I went to France, I ate so many cheesy things and I was fine. I think North American dairy is just like so full of GMOs and stuff. It does look good. No, buy it for your birthday. <laughs> Wait, oh, this looks so good. I would try the banana one. Yeah, the banana one sounds really good. What was the one that you bought? Strawberry. Oh. 
Ricky, you need one too. It. Yeah, let's each get one to try. Yeah. God, it's penis shaped pasta. <gasps> Why is the peach one so small? Yeah, that's not small. Bottles, Wait, that's guys. so cute. We just went into this little store that had all these little shots of flavored liqueur. 17%. <laughs> Are we about to get day drunk in Italy? I got strawberry by the way, and then I got banana. Peach. To Italy! To Italy! Mine tastes really good. Mine's better. Whoa, Mine's better. Strong. Mine's better. Whoa. No, yours is strong. That was strong. Oh! No, it gets stronger. It's yeah, it gets stronger. I think it gets stronger. I think we just pour it into each other's mouth. <laughs> That was good. <laughs> no, that was good. It was good. The next clip is that's like. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Falling asleep for real, for real. fun fresh times that we had in Bologna and Florence but what's more fun is me dyeing my hair in the middle of our Italy trip I actually had a sponsored video due so I had to film it on the trip so here's me dyeing my hair red and absolutely shitting bricklets oh my god that's not red <laughs> because I found a shard of metal <laughs> in my pasta. Almost dying from your food is worth it. I'm currently in Florence, we just went to the Gallery Academia where the statue of David is. He's a big boy, let me tell you. After we completed our mission in Florence, oh, there's me dyeing my hair, we made the trek over to Rome, but not before almost dying on the road. Like I literally couldn't see Yes, it was a little rough, but you know, when in Rome. Actually, when in Rome, where's Rome? Hello, Rome? There's Rome. Oh, that's so far. Anyway, okay, when in Rome, you eat Roman McDonald's. Trying Italian McDonald's. Today's test time. First time eating Italian McDonald's. I got this, like, I actually don't know what it's called. It was quite expensive, though. It was like 750 euros. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I also got this 
Is this like European? I think it's Italian. Cheers. We are also watching When in Rome because we are in Rome. We we're about to watch the Lizzie McGuire movie, but I think I've seen that recently. And it wasn't as good as I remembered, except for when she sings, hey now, hey now, this is what dreams are made of. And Paolo is like, what the hell? Oh, you know what this tastes like? Bing Hong Ta. Mm. We got these bacon and cheese fries. Mm -mm. Mm. Hmm. I mean, it's good. Pistachio McFlurry. Whoa. Right? Whoa, that's it's really good. good. That might be my favorite. Oh my god, my hair is so like a little mermaid red. Anyway, we are heading to the Pope. We're heading to the Vatican. Just took a little train here from Rome. It's super easy. I'm running on like three hours of sleep right now because I had to work last night until like 7 a.m. I think it's time for my sugar baby era. I don't want to work anymore. Why would they make girls work? It's just not fair. line up but we don't know when the basilica closes we're trying to see the pope in there i hope he's not going to bed soon guys i'm joking by the way i'm not dumb i know we're not gonna get a meet and greet with the pope but one can dream huh would you click on that video i surveyed every single person in the world <laughs> yes i would <laughs> generation diy surveys every single person in the world <laughs> walked through the basilica and it was so beautiful like it's hard to capture what it actually looks like on camera you just have to come in person also the clouds it's so pretty today we're going to the fountain of trevi right now wait the lighting okay slay it's been raining for the past couple days but today the pope has blessed us with good weather am i allowed to say that no oh. should i get drinks with the works and law guy or should i which one's cuter i don't know we have they both asked to meet up yeah <gasps> Oh my god, he's got options. I got options. He's been working at the Vatican. I've been <laughs> like I said, Ricky pulls. I, I he really does pull. We're currently looking at magnets to get. These are so cute. I really like this one. This one too. If y'all know, tell me in the comments, please. Our friend Ricky just left us to go see a boy in Rome. So we're gonna have a girls' night. Yeah, we're gonna go to Chubby Fountain and hopefully find some food nearby. Not too close though, because I feel like it would be expensive. Yeah, that's true. And then we're gonna get a little Aperol spritzes. Have a good time. In Rome. Not in Rome.
fountain and the first one earns you a trip back to Rome. The second one means you will meet a handsome Italian man or just like whoever you attract, want. Who, attractive someone, whoever you want. Yeah. And third is you marry them. Uh, do I want to be in a marriage? Anyway. That's not the point. So I have to throw it behind my shoulder. Bro, uh, my shoulder is fucked up in and of itself. I can't even do it frontwards, but we'll see. If I don't make it, you have to lie to me and say that I made it. I'm not gonna lie to you. We're gonna do it until you get it. Come on now. Also, I realized from this position, I wouldn't even be able to see if you did make it. Yeah, that's true. We're just gonna have to trust. One, two. Oh. I have no clue. Did it go in? I don't know. We're just gonna count I that. Oh really? <gasps> Amazing! I do feel a good stretch in my shoulder right now too. <laughs> Walk to the bus stop. We were just standing by the stop, and the bus driver looked us dead in the eyes and kept driving. And then it suddenly started raining so hard. And we have to wait 15 minutes for the next bus. Bruh. Coliseum. We were so dumb and only slept for like two hours last night. So we're all so tired, but this place is insane. And you know that trend on TikTok where girls ask their boyfriends or husbands or whatever how often they think about the Roman Empire and it's like always a shockingly large amount of times. I've always been like, why the hell would you think about the Roman Empire so much? I kind of get it now. Like. This is insane. The stuff that they were able to build in like 70 AD. Girl, how did they do it? Also, looking at the, the actual battlefield, I'm like, well, I want to see a live recreation of a gladiator fight so bad. I want to know what it was like. I want to know how they built the seats, how they transported everything. Uh, suddenly, I'm a man. Obsessed with white marble. This is the OG white marble. I'm like 70 AD. That's espresso shot but they gave me a little chocolate I don't know if I'm supposed to put it in or eat it after oh my god this shit's strong wait am I supposed to put this in okay I'm gonna try it it's still pretty bitter oh it's so good That was the craziest surprise. That was the biggest plot twist. All the bitterness worth it. Back at the fountain in the daytime. There's so many more people here, but I feel like it looks so nice with the water so blue. Also, it looks so like Rome. Like, the one in Las Vegas. It's like tripping me out. Hello, guys. We are in Naples. And I don't think it's the best place to Napoli. My hair is now orange. We have been having the craziest time in Naples out of all of the cities that we've been through. It's so chaotic here and it's definitely different vibes from Northern Italy. We've had a mixed bag of experiences. When we first got here, because we drove here, these streets are not for driving. One thing about driving in Italy, it's not for your average North American. And I learned that the hard way. So it was my turn to drive. And the last two thirds of the way, aka the last two hours, my bladder. Oh, 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 oh. Think of the time that you had to pee the most in the world. It was like that, but like 10 times worse. We were on the highway. There's like nowhere to stop. So I blast off. When we finally get to Naples, I'm like, thank God, like I gotta go right now. So I'm driving on these streets. And one thing I didn't realize about Naples is that most of these streets are pedestrian streets. We're almost there. Like it literally 
says that it's at the end of the block. So I turn to the street and there's people, people walking this way, walking that way, like standing, sitting, eating at restaurants. There's convenience stores, clothing stores. So I'm driving on this one, not even one way. There's just no cars. I'm like trying to find a way out. So I just keep going. Everyone's staring, laughing at us. It's like that scene in like high school movies when you feel like everyone's like staring at and laughing at you, except it was real. The worst part, three Asians in the car. Nobody looks like us, okay? And I'm like, it's really a bad moment for me to be fulfilling my stereotype right now as an Asian girl who can't drive. Mm -mm -mm, I can't represent myself like this in a foreign country. Anyway, so I keep driving through the restaurant, through all the people, and then eventually I'm like, there must be a road. There must be a road. At the end, it's blocked off. Ah! percentage of wanting to cry 200 percent some of us at that point were so desperate that we were willing to trade our bodies for someone to get get us out of the situation okay i was about to like abandon the car and just like run away i was like i don't care i'm living here now so eventually these like two italian men knock on our door and they're like where are you going like why are you parked here i'm like guys i don't know like uh, tears were they were locked and loaded so eventually we figured out the only way to get out was to back out like 200 meters Ooh, i was like i can't do this the streets are so narrow and also all the people staring at you and laughing i was like this social anxiety shit is at a maximum maximum so i was like you know what get your shit together let's just reverse out so i back all the way out through the restaurants through the people we finally make it onto a small little alleyway and we're like this far from the walls and eventually we just make it onto a big street but when i tell you that was the best pee i've ever had in my entire life afterwards you don't even know how empty i was feeling afterwards yeah anyway so just take the train i also do feel like i can drive anywhere in the world now put me in the middle of manhattan that shit's a breeze okay i feel like now north american streets are gigantic anyway naples hi <laughs> Last night, we hung out with these two Italian men that we just met yesterday and they literally drove us around Naples and like we had such a cute wholesome time. They showed us some of the local pastries and desserts so we tried some of those but we got home at like 3-4 a.m. It was super fun and now we are heading to Pasitano by train because we are not driving anymore. I feel like I have something like it. They're also really expensive because I think they're like local Italian made. The views are insane here. So we're making our way down to the beach. I'm crying, this is so cute. Oh, the tote bags, the puffy totes. These are so cute. so pretty this lighting is insane this is so beautiful in real life it just like man you can't even capture it correctly on camera it looks way better in real life than on camera oh also we got these matching little bracelets i got this little pearl one sabrina got this beaded one and ricky got cheetos cheetos last forever <gasps> oh my god photographer in town photographer in town is she is crazy Oh my god. <laughs> and after getting all those beautiful pictures, look at how many steps that we have to take. There's like 200 stairs. <sighs> the pictures that we got are insane. We're about to 
go get dinner at the top and hopefully they have space for us because the view up there is really, really nice. Look at these buildings. Wow. Oh my God, cardio. We ordered this salad with mozzarella balls, arugula, and tomatoes. And I keep thinking that mozzarella balls are the same thing as burrata. So I'm trying to recreate this one experience that we had with burrata. It was like the best burrata ever in Rome. I haven't found it yet. I got a sandwich. Oh, thanks. Bye. Goodbye, Italy. That was the most chaotic trip and trip to the airport. We almost didn't make it, but we're getting on the plane. Bye.